Forum Hockey. Welcome to Pepper Smooth Glowworms, a channel dedicated to hot chili peppers and coldly glowing glowworms. Alright, a quick update on my colony of Sardinian glowworms. We have already reached generation 26. Some new larvae, relatively young. We have the firstborn of them, so to speak. This little brood from one female. Small one, although, the sh although she uh, mated with multiple males. Um, just about no, not about exactly 12 larvae have already grown a bit at least a second insta or maybe even further and three eggs are still left and one of them is currently hatching this one right there they seem to be doing well have to be on the lookout for the condensation water. I'm still using the more hygienic approach with just a sponge cloth as a substrate or without substrate rather. So yeah, at 12 of the firstborn, generation 26. We also have a larger clutch by another female. I dubbed the Arzi brood for fun and they are also partially past uh, L1 stage so they have also grown a bit they are still molting there's a shed skin and the, those are about 60 a little bit more than 60 Yesterday I removed the first, uh, we had the first losses, uh, I removed four larvae, or one of them maybe didn't get enough food, I think could be possible, and the other ones seem to have trouble, have had trouble with uh, molting, but that's not that unusual, so maybe not uh, caused by inbreeding for many many generations, because I also had this observation in the very first generation. Oh yeah, a little bit, or around 60 larvae, again also in this hygienic setup, easy to clean and to replace. Yeah, both are currently all the larvae of generation 26, or maybe not quite, because we also have some more eggs from the artsy clutch. Um, they are here. Most of them have hatched, but there are still some left. Yesterday I... Huh, there's a newly hatched larva just a, in the process of getting some color after hatching. I will put it to its siblings later on, I'll leave it alone for a while. Um, yeah, and yesterday I also put a freshly hatched larva into the other container, so they are still hatching, but normally those stragglers uh, are not that fit compared to their siblings, usually. The one from the firstborn that was hatching, I guess it will have some trouble, but we will see. And we also still have uh, many, many, well, not many, many, but uh, more eggs. Those. There's actually uh, still one, one single egg left from generation 25. I don't think it will hatch, but we shall see. Right there, in the middle. One teeny tiny egg. It's still, it's hardened and everything. So, 
one might not suspect that it is not viable and maybe it will hatch that would be uh, rather weird so i will keep it for now but maybe that's the thing some of them hatch way later that's normal but uh, that would be <laughs> quite some time later yeah and we have uh, still a few clutches of eggs from different females This is again a smaller clutch that was laid just before Christmas, a few days before, and the eggs are definitely developing. There's something happening inside. Smaller clutch again. Also a smaller one, just one. Egg here, nice reach. And we have some that were laid just during Christmas, basically 2023. Uh, Christmas, of course. And some nice petri dishes, very professional. Um, yeah, and that's again a decent amount of eggs for a single female, I, I guess, I think. Some mold growing there. Hmm. Maybe I should put them in another container. But those eggs are also developing. Another little clutch, also not small, decent size. And this was basically the first failure. Uh, this was a small clutch to begin with and those eggs that were laid didn't even harden properly and they just shriveled away. So um, I guess I can take this one out now. There's no hope for this one but certainly for those. Yeah. And we do not only have eggs and larvae of generation 26 um, and one single egg of generation 25, but we also have adults of generation 25, right here. Here we have some adult males. And there's another one, still quite fresh, and a pupa, which uh, uh, will not hatch very soon, but it's not that fresh. The eyes are also quite dark, which is a sign that it is, uh, has already developed for a while. But we have at least two of those adult males. Um, do we have something that matches them? Let's have a look. We also have nice big and fat larvae of generation 25 in this container. Again, a really hygienic setup. Nice and well fed larvae. Yeah. That's somewhat chunky. I have seen bigger ones, but they have a decent size. And there's also a female. Uh, it has been glowing now for a few evenings, so she is definitely ready to mate. So I guess that means there will be a little threesome tonight. Uh, I will put them together, um, both males and the female, to ensure that she will be, uh, to ensure that the female will be fertilized. 
again it doesn't always work some i guess uh, yeah the, the failure here was the result of multiple males mating with a female but um in theory in principle it should increase the chances of uh, mating success um, previously i was blaming the males for the failures of uh, uh, producing fertilized eggs um, seems to be common in the inbreeding uh, lines that the males uh, lose fertility in beetles at least i think um, but i think and now that i'm separating the clutches of the different females um, i think it might also be an issue with the female fertility perhaps but we shall see uh, we definitely have reached generation 26 and maybe the colony will go on but for now, for this night, tonight, there will be some action, hopefully.